Now, uh, a number of tech firms around the world, including Alcatel Lucent, have started developing a new wireless technology called WiMAX. That technology promises faster and wider data coverage, which means it's going to be easier for users to get online, watch TV, on their, uh, on their cell phones uh, uh, as well. In most uh, countries, WiMAX is in a pilot stage. South Korea is the only country where it has been commercially launched. Analysts say the battle between rival platform 3G and WiMAX will come down to the individual user in the end. Sandeep Mukherjee is the vice president of Wireless Business Group with Alcatel Lucent. He joins me here on set right here down at Communication. Sandeep, good morning. Uh, good to see you. Now, uh, we stated early on before we came to you when we teased you uh, erroneously that you back one standard, but the, the truth of the matter is you back both WiMAX and 3G, right? Yeah, thanks for having me, Martin. And uh, yeah, we're one of the few vendors that, you know, actually have a credible offer for WiMAX and for 3G. Why, why are you doing that? You're hedging your bets or, no, we see or you're not sure which technology is no, better or is going to win? No, we actually see opportunity for both. You know, 3G today has a vibrant ecosystem, you know, offers mobility, uh, is an easy upgrade from vend uh, for manufacturer suppliers who have deployed 2G to migrate to 3G. WiMAX, you know, lets you do a couple of things. One is for the wireline carriers, you know, offer a, a, a way to fill out their DSL footprint. Uh, offer, as you said, broadband wireless coverage to users. You know, plus for from an end user perspective, it's it's a way to get on. You know, the wireless information superhighway, if you mm -hmm. will, mm -hmm. uh, lower latency, faster speeds, uh, voice, data, video. All right, so we're talking about 3G and WiMAX. Are we talking about uh, different horses for different courses, or is there actually a lot of overlap? Well, when when you get to the next generation, you know, the fundamental platforms that power both WiMAX and what's being called 4G or next-gen wireless is something called OFDM. Uh, so, so the fundamental platforms in the end, you know, there will be convergence, it'll be based on OFDM, different antenna techniques to offer, you know, even faster speeds to, to enable even, even wider array of applications. Hmm. Okay, I've got to ask you, we've been talking uh, uh, down at this show about uh, the next big thing, of course, is cramming uh, digital content uh, down the pipe to end-user mobile devices, mm -hmm. cell phones or the like, or maybe even, I don't know, the, the soon-to-be-launched uh, uh, iPhone. Uh, 3G versus WiMAX, which is actually better at that, which is safer, uh, which, which is cheaper? Well, uh, you know, it depends on, you know, where you're coming from. So if you're an operator with 3G license, uh, a mobile network, a mobile 2G network, 3G is an easy, easier migration. Okay. Right? If you are an operator that doesn't have, you know, 3G spectrum or 3G license, but you have a wireless line spectrum or you're an ISP, you know, WiMAX is an easier migration, easier, mm -hmm. easier technology to embrace. So it depends on where people come from. Mm -hmm. From an end user perspective, there's really no difference. Uh, you know, you are always on. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can be accessed anywhere yeah. that you want, and you can do the things you want to do. I got to ask you this. You know, there's a, an interesting piece in a magazine I was reading a couple of uh, couple of days ago, uh, saying that I mean, the whole telco industry, after the bust in in, con in conjunction with, of course, the uh, uh, the bursting of the internet bubble, uh, telecoms in the U.S. at least has come back, finally making money. One of the interesting developments is uh, big search uh, leaders and giants like Google, like Yahoo. They want to become broadband giants as well. I mean, that's obviously potential, potentially business for, for folks like yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, you know, the more value there is in, in the connection, the better it is, you know, for us. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we are about increasing the bandwidth, lowering the latency, mm -hmm. and adding capabilities such as presence, you know, intelligence from a location perspective. Yeah policy management, so you offer end users the privacy they need and the richness. All right, they, but if you can help us sort of sketch out sort of the, the changing telecom landscape here, what we're talking about is guys like Google, like Yahoo, competing with telcos now, right? Or, yeah. or set to, or about to. In some respects. I mean, what, what, what the Googles or the Yahoos don't have yeah. is the ability to provide the quality of experience, mm -hmm. you know, which the telco carriers have and will continue to have. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, Sandeep, very useful talking to you. Thank you for your time. Great to have you on board. Thank you. Thanks All for right. having me. Uh, Sandeep Mukherjee there uh, from Alcatel Lucent here with us down at Communication.